All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my grand announcing of my new sports analyst show titled Star Point Sports Reports. So as I told you before on recent, I don't know which recent video it was, but like I said before on a recent video on his YouTube channel, probably about two, three months. Actually, no, probably just two months or just one month. I don't particularly know, but I do believe it was sometime this summer, probably around June or July. When I, because right now we're in September, today is September the 1st. Um, what I have specifically told everybody um, was, I'm going to give everybody, again, my Snapchat info, my Twitter info, and etc. And with that being said, I told y'all how I had a a, um, a um, sports account titled Star Point Sports on my um, on Twitter that I barely use. But at the same time, if you go on my uh, regular, my main Twitter at NJ Number to the City, I announced that I was going to start using that more now that college football is back on now that NFL football is you know preseason is practically over if I'm not mistaken fully over and you know and etc with the with, with both seasons pretty much in full effect now you know and so forth and so forth why not and even with high school uh, football and middle school football and whatever else pop one and all that other, other good interesting stuff um, star point sports reports is gonna be a um, it's gonna be is my own sports analyst news show. Again, it's not some type of you know big studio setup. It's pretty much you know some of it will be me and my you know bedroom, you know you know doing these and these you know analysis like I'm doing right now. Even though I'm not really you know doing analysis on any particular player or pro program or school etc. You get the point. Um, but some of these reports will definitely be just me in my bedroom like I am right now or somewhere around the house or somewhere around the community, you know, at a high school, at a middle school, at a college, wherever, you know, and just basking in the glory of the moment and doing these quality reporting on the next generation and et cetera and doing a quality reporting on our already college stars that are just owning everything and et cetera. So, I mean, it's going to be beautiful it's going to be great and i again greatly look forward to all the blessings um and um beautiful moments that come along with the reporting because it's just, it's just going to be phenomenal honestly so the new show is titled star point sports reports i kind of i not even kind of i wanted it to rhyme so that's why i said um sports reports rather than sport report you know either way you can kind of get a rhyme out of it but it's definitely a rhyme adding sports reports rather than just sport report uh so again we'll definitely see how things overall go with this i can assure you that this is the first taping this is an introduction video to it um i will definitely start taping some tonight because it's uh past 12 tonight so r right now it's you know it's it's september the first right now and most definitely um i can definitely see myself filming a few more videos tonight and if not tonight over the weekend and definitely just throughout every week pretty much you know this analysis is going to go very very deep you're going to see a lot probably a lot probably a lot more analysis of you know this you know with me analyzing the middle school the high school the colleges nfl you're probably going to see me doing a lot more of that on this youtube channel within the next few weeks at least within the next few weeks if not months you're going to see me because i because just starting off i have a lot of stuff to talk about just starting off but um uh, but you know, towards the months, it's probably the the production of the releases of these videos are probably gonna lessen, and the reason why is because I'm probably not gonna have as much to talk about. I have some, but not a lot, probably. But I can assure you that you know, the past is there, the present is there, the future is there, and we're gonna own this to the best of our golfers' willing and able abilities, with you know analyzing the absolute best which we can. That's gonna, you know, or really just me, you know. Analyzing the best of which I can that's gonna be entertaining and refreshing for all of you and feel like you're watching a different You know news um, You know analyst take than Anybody else can give you honestly. I want to give you you know takes from yes right here in my bedroom And I want to give you takes from right out there on the field, you know on, your, on the sideline or or as a fan um, You know in the benches the, well, the stands that is actually stands or wherever the heck I am <laughs> forgive me yeah. heck Wherever I am around the city, wherever I am around the the, na the neighborhood, just give you those God honest and real takes of 
you know, my, 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 my side of sports. I have a sports side of me, and I don't think, I don't know if I've told y'all that it too many times within the past, but I mean, I, I have a vast personality. I like love music. I love sports. Um, um, I read books at times, but I'm not a huge book reader, but I definitely can entertain some conversations about books, TVs, movies, uh, acting, dramas, um, personal relationships, you know, so many things. I stink at drawing, but at the same time I can entertain talks about drawing, painting, um, talks about, um, what was it, book club, <laughs> you know, uh, cooking, you know, I can just, I can do it. I have a vast personality, sneakers, you know, shoes, you know, I have a vast personality, ladies and gentlemen, that I can cover so many topics, and I've said it before, that, you know, the all those you know what you know whether I change the name of this YouTube channel or not or it stays the same all those you know takes with myself and other people and the Twitter and the snapchat and etc they're gonna be the again a part of the further evolution of this YouTube channel and the overall for the you know brand it's its own self honestly again it's me your boy the man NJ to the city again you can literally scroll back into this YouTube channel and find Tons of videos, as I said before, tons of videos of my past work, of my past thoughts, my past actions, talk, sayings, rap, sings, whatever, you know, and again, use your overall discernment on whatever it is that, you know, to make your overall opinion of whether I'm even worth your time or not. But I can assure you with the analyst side of myself, I'm going to try to give you some very raw and authentic analyst takes. My position with football particularly that I focus on the most is quarterbacks. But I can definitely talk about some wide receivers. I can talk about some running backs. I can talk about some defenses. I'm not talking about fully in depth, honestly, but definitely a little bit of takes to make you think, okay, he knows a little bit what about what he's talking about, and et cetera. I definitely believe it's going to be something that's going to be cherishable, so it's going to be authentic. It's just something that everybody's going to be able to, in some case, you know, look forward to, they're going to be able to relate to, and it's all going to be worth it at the end of the day. So once again, you know, God bless everybody on this blessing of the Labor Day weekend. And this is just the announcing of my new show, Star Point Sports Reports. With me, your boy, the man, NJ to the city. And I'm telling you straight up, this is going to be more than just me in my bedroom analyzing all this stuff. I'm going to be out there on the, you know, at, at, you know, as some schools doing it. I'm going to be out there just out in the community doing it. And it's more than just Star Point Sports Reports. I'm also going to be doing, if you check my Snapchat, at NJ number to the city. I'll also tell you I'm also going to be, you know, out about in the city doing, like, my own independent news report. And what that means is, like, on politics, on faith, on, on, um, on, you know, live breaking news. And obviously, I'm, again, not saying it's going to be its own little big setup. Again, it's not that. But it is something where, oh, if I see this person doing whatever, and I'm like, okay, this is, you know, I don't agree with this, but this is what you should be doing. Or if it's just, oh, I, I you know, I saw this or I saw that or heard about this and that on the news, I can just give you my own take on it. Or, like I say, I'm caught up in a cross crossfire somewhere, wherever, and I'm, and, I, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm able to independently film it and report it to you all and be like, here's what's happening on this side of town, that side of town. You know, avoid this traffic, avoid that traffic, avoid uh, whatever it is, you know. I'm going to be able to, again, try to give it to you all because I can, again, assure you that, you know, for what I want to do, you know, in very much cases, you know, very, very many cases, I do believe so that, you know, it's not only is it worth it, but it's totally capable and you just have to put yourself in the positions to own it. To film it, to own it, to produce it, to, to just shine on it with your authentic talents and abilities and etc. You know, and I definitely want to do that. And I can definitely assure you that's, that, again, this evolution of this channel is going to be great. You know, again, it's still, you know, going very slow to a certain degree. But again, I have the utmost, you know, faith and pride in myself and, and my work and the people that I know, <clears throat> past, present, and future that, you know, it's going to be lifted up and it's going to be carried and it's going to be, you know, it's just going to be awesome. And I hope, again, all of you are along for the ride with it because it's just going to be lit. It's going to be living a lit life with Christ out there within a the community showing you authentically 
and etc. Again, not to say at times I don't curse, because I do curse, but I, again, try to hold myself to the utmost accountable that I can to, you know, catch myself hopefully in the moment and not say the full curse word or not say the curse word at all. Because like I said before, you know, the kids, again, kids look up to me. I'm their big, big brother, you know. I made many songs about it and I'm teaching the kids every day to rise above that language. So it's like, hey, I'm, it's like saying, you know, if I'm using it, what is it saying to the kids and et cetera, you know. And if I'm and if I'm gonna curse here and there, you know, I'm gonna again, I'm gonna apologize and I'm gonna keep on trying to own it better, you know, because God knows I'm not proud of it, regardless of whenever I curse for whatever reason I curse, I'm not proud of it. But it is something that, you know, out of the moment it's for whatever reason it's for. And I know that eventually, again, over time, I gotta take those steps you know, to get rid of that habit because like I said before, the kids look up to me and I keep on telling them all the time about their cur cursing habits and how to, again, you know, don't, don't, don't do it. You need to take steps to stop it. And I want to be that walking embodiment of that. I don't want to be a, you know, again, a, a fraud with that. I don't want to be a hypocrite, a double standard person with that. You're telling them not to curse, but yet your curse never storm here and there. Like, like, what's up here? You know, and so forth and so forth. 11 minutes into this. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody had enjoyed, uh, especially, actually no matter what kind of you're in, but definitely St. John's Duval. Hope you are enjoying your three day, uh, well actually, your three weeks, first three weeks of back to school. Um, all glory be to God, 100%. Again, I'm sorry that I'm not there in any of your schools right now to volunteer and help out with the uh, in-school mentoring. But again, you know, I mean, I'm overall proud of the work that I'm doing with the county with life work and et cetera. Um, God bless um, the work that we're about to do next week um, out in downtown St. Augustine next to Flagler College. Uh, look forward to going to some of the Flagler College's games this upcoming school year. Uh, well, actually, the school year's already been, but you get the point. Um, you know, I look forward to going to some of their games. And um, I, again, look forward to getting back into the school system as a volunteer. God first whenever I can because getting God knows, you know, I want to let every child know, again, you have, you have, you know, you, you have a support system. You have a better tomorrow. And you have tons of talent and potential. You just need to, you know, again, keep on taking those steps all the time, you know, to reach your goals, reach your destiny, reach your better tomorrow through Jesus Christ's salvation, which one strengthens you. And I mean that with absolute the best of me. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody once again enjoys their um, three-day Labor Day weekend, and I hope everybody enjoys the football that's coming up and my takes on the football that are coming up. And again, you know, again, stay, again, stay posted, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, uh, like I say, um, you know, I got the Twitters, I got the YouTube, I got the Snapchat, and I'm trying to put out the most rawest, authentic content, you know, that's real and et cetera that I possibly can because, you know, you know, you know, for whatever topic it is, you know, I, I, I know what I want to do. I know a lot of it's not hard. I know it's a lot of it's two plus two. Like I said before, independent reporting here, independent report reporting there, giving your own analyst takes. Again, the, the, these, these are things anybody can do from the comfort of their own home or just go out there in the community and do and do what you can to, again, you know, be a part of serving your community to a certain degree and et cetera, you know, and just do it, you know, just, just, just do it because I'm telling you, especially for the people that in some type of way chase uh, fame and fortune, I can assure you this, that once again, you know, um, again, majority of us, if not all of us, all want fame and fortune in some type of God first way, you know, or in just some type of way. For me, it's God first way. For other, a lot of other people, it's just any, any type of way that they can get it. But I would definitely, again, tell you that with fame and fortune, um, you should rather get it through, you know, you owning your God first talents, your God first blessing, get the talents and skills, rather than getting it through just being a negative clown and negative, uh, you know, distraction and etc. You should rather get it for giving back, for, you know, giving to, you know, service and charities and giving back to your community and to the kids and, you know, and, you know, all these things that help heal the culture and help us, you know, you know, again, you know, and et cetera, rather than helping to continuously, you know, drag the culture down. You guys get the point. 
Uh, love you. More coming soon. Your boy, the man, NJ to the city out. Peace. God bless. <laughs>